Tom Matthews here from Matthews Engineering. I finished uh, working on the Aero Creeper. Uh, from the other video I showed, uh, I wanted to automate this and it even has a remote control. Um, and so it can um, raise and lower. It's got a two stage mechanism. I'm gonna show how that mechanism works. Here's the first stage, so it needs a little bit of lower gear to, to press off from the ground. And then, um, when that arm reaches the end, you'll see it'll go to, to a higher gear and it's got a strong enough jack screw that it can lift a 250 pound occupant. Um, but let's look at how this works. So it's using a DeWalt uh, battery. There's the DeWalt charger, 20 volt battery. Uh, the 20 volt battery is mounted over here. Uh, there's a uh, automotive fuse in there. I think it's 20 amps. Um, these batteries have got a lot of umph, um, and then that goes over here to this controller that comes included with the jack screw, um, and you can control up and down there, but they also give you two of these little remote controls, which is pretty neat. Um, I had to make all these uh, adapter plates and had to make this adapter plate down here to hold the battery, um, but let me, let me show you what the mechanism looks like. Let's lower it down, and... Um, Maybe you can watch if you want to watch. So there's that two-stage mechanism retracting. Let's go ahead and retract that all the way and I'll turn it over so we can look at it. These are good for aircraft because when you're working on an airplane, unlike a car, an airplane has um, you know different heights you're not always at the same height below the airplane and so it's nice to be able to change height and the company that makes this creeper is pretty clever but but they don't have an automated version um and this lets you you know adjust your height while you're without coming out from under and, and adjusting it so the first thing i had to do was disable there's a ratcheting rack in here that locks it into position. I disabled that by putting a stainless steel plate in here. And so now you're held up by the jack screw. And this is a very powerful jack screw. Um, so here's how the mechanism works. There's a hinge axe mechanism coming over to here. And there's a, a, a nether caster that it pushes off on. And then you'll see how this lever mechanism works. So let's raise it up. And that gives its initial lift. And then when it's time to go to the second stage, it'll hit this pin here. And then it'll really start lifting. But see, at this point, it's got enough leverage to act in a simple mode like that. And there we go. That's uh, automated uh, arrow creeper for... Aircraft Maintenance, Tom Matthews at Matthews Engineering.